Welcome to this video that will focus on McGraw-Hill's current events website, BTW. By the way, stuff you should know. This is a website McGraw-Hill is offering to teachers, parents, and students and provides curated current events with activities and skill building opportunities. So why can't I just go to the internet, social media, or TV and be done with it? Students, parents, and teachers are inundated. It's not about finding the news, that's all around us. It's about analyzing and understanding what's happening in the world as an important step on the student journey to becoming an active citizen. A simple Google search will inform you that studying current events helps students to understand the importance of people, events, and issues in the news. It stimulates students to explore and learn more about the news and pay attention to the news they see and hear on social media, 24-7 news, and around the dinner table. This can open up communication between students and parents and help, help them to understand the times they live in. McGraw-Hill knows what's happening in the world is not always understandable nor accessible to students. And what students read and hear about the world is not always accurate. McGraw-Hill's current events website was created specifically for students, providing up-to-date coverage of important national and world news, along with contests, polls, and activities. We'll explore BTW and Election Central, which is McGraw-Hill's premier website, providing current information about articles of government and politicians, in a style and at a level that will engage your students. Now, how current is that information? BTW is updated with two posts a week. Now, there may be multiple articles associated with each post. Keeping informed helps social studies students act as better citizens and relate to their place in the world. So, Election Central is updated on a weekly basis. Now, here's what we'll look at. How to get around the sites, the navigation. We'll look at ideas for social media and other technology resources. And we'll look at tips on how to use BTW and Election Central articles. And we'll look at the 21st century skills options. Now think about uh, you know, how to analyze historical documents or how to tell fact from opinion. You'll find model PowerPoints that take students through step-by-step -step to understanding the skill. If you are a user of the McGraw-Hill Social Studies family of quality and reputable learning systems, You'll find BTW on the home page of the teacher and the student accounts when you log in. If you are not a user of our learning systems, I heartily encourage you to look into these award-winning programs. In the meantime, however, you can go straight to the BTW website using the website address listed on the screen. So here's how BTW is broken down. The top stories and the stuff you should know are all found under all the stuff you should know. Now, the top stories examine everything from unrest in countries to uh, the newest television shows on TV and, and of course, uh, news stories such as COVID-19. The stuff you should know summarizes some main news stories from the past week. You decide looks at issues from different perspectives and, after the fact, briefly examines the lives of people that have made a difference in the world. You'll find information about careers and a direct link to Election Central. Now, the ways that you navigate, you can obviously click on the article image. You could scroll down to click on the articles and that you would and posts that you would like. You can search using a keyword search at the top. You can uh, look by category or tag, you can search the archives all the way back to September of 2009. So at the top, if we search uh, for fake news, this will result in all the articles that have some relationship to fake news. Let me click on one of these articles here to show you that the article may sometimes help school students with their 21st century skills, such as, uh, you know, determining uh, fact from opinion and analyzing the news. So these model PowerPoints that improve skills and our skill builders are embedded in many articles. Let's go live to Election Central. 
Teachers of civics and government know the importance of understanding how the roles and responsibilities of government and elected leaders affect our daily lives. Students are in the process of learning about these relationships. The articles on Election Central offer relevant, student-centric coverage of politics. So at the top of the page, we see classroom connections. These contain uh, connections with classrooms around the country, uh, submission forms, as well as stories uh, showing various points of view. The political and election resources contains crash course uh, video series. Uh, this one's on U.S. government and politics, which is produced by or in partnership with PBS Digital Studios. Uh, elections and Campaigns 101 is a brief look at elections and campaigns, of course. Uh, what's the difference between uh, caucuses and prim primaries, and why do we have both? Uh, you'll find statistical information as well, and citizenship in action. So what are the duties and responsibilities of citizens in the U.S.? Yeah. How can you become a U.S. citizen? And this is enhanced by the uh, link here to the interactive U.S. Constitution from the National Constitution Center. So uh, a lot of good resources there for the Constitution. And if I go up to the top here, the teacher resources provides a glossary of political terms as well as uh, teacher resources. Uh, in addition to these uh, ideas on how Election Central can help you teach civics and government, some other tips might be uh, for teachers. You could use this as a bell ringer for launching discussions to an article, to activate critical thinking, or to engage students in high interest projects. You could assign an article and questions to get students to think critically. You could have students collaborate with classmates to produce a paper, a presentation, or other performance objectives that will uh, simulate life and engage students. And parents could choose articles to discuss at the dinner table. Uh, they may be looking at uh, two different perspectives or perhaps evaluating sources. Students could participate in contests, polls, activities that uh, extend learning on that particular issue. These websites and their articles can be used to engage students, activate critical thinking, and help them to analyze different perspectives. Students will understand and be more able to participate in their world around them. We encourage you to check out and start using BTW and Election Central today. Thank you.